Today in the series of Doc Plex's KOL interviews, we have with us Dr. Shailesh Hadgaonkar, who is a spine surgeon working at Sancheti Hospital. Thank you, doctor, for being with us. Thank you. Thank you for inviting us for this show. Shall we start with the interview? Yes, please. So we are going to talk about spinal tumors. Starting with the questions, what are the different types of spinal tumors firstly? Yeah, uh, spinal tumors, there are various different types. Uh, we know spine as a supporting structure to our back and there are bone and nerves and soft tissues. So there are different tumors which we see. We see uh, intradural spinal tumors which are inside the spinal nerve and spinal canal. We see the tumors which are outside their nerve sheath and they are into the bony integration which causes a lot of destructive elements and significant pain. So they are the bony spinal tumors. They are the main uh, two different uh, types which uh, we should know as a general uh, population uh, and uh, the tumors which are inside bone are soft uh, tumors but they ca can cause hazardous uh, elements like weakness in the lower limbs, power difficulty and uh, the bone tumor causes destruction and instability. Thank you for letting us know this. Moving forward, what are the basic causes of spinal tumors? I think uh, there is uh, yet, uh, it's, it's not that this is the reason which is causing spinal tumor, it's still unclear. But commonly we see uh, genetic uh, preponderance is quite high in spinal tumor. There is family association or you know, it normally is considered genetic mutations which leads to this. A lot of chemicals and industrial things also can contribute to spinal tumor where you are working and you know, this uh, chemical uh, uh, tumors, uh, but we, we can't say this is the only reason for this particular type of tumor. Okay, so what are the uncommon or surprise findings in spinal pathology? No, normally patient comes to the clinic and he complains of neck pain or back pain and uh, we like uh, routine doctors, we always talk about uh, medications, physiotherapy, giving some exercises and yoga. But when the patient complains this, uh, it persistently complains of back pain and is not getting better. We have to suspect, you know, suspicion is very important when someone is not getting better. A lot of time we need to check whether the patient is losing weight, is there is a difficulty in walking, is there is a difficulty in movement of the hand or legs, is he getting tingling in the legs or tingling in the hand, what's happening it is very important. Clinical correlation is important. and. If we suspect something, then there can be a surprise like we have a lot of patients with infection, spinal cancer, tumor, what we say, which is not expected by anyone, but they are there and then we have to deal with it. Talking about spinal cancers, I would like to know what is the reaction of the patient or the family members when you know they get to know that they have been diagnosed with cancer? Yeah, we all know uh, cancer is a very dreaded word and uh, when we hear that there is a cancer, we, we lose 50% of our life, you know, we say, oh my goodness, I am not going to get better. And spine and cancer, you know, again, spine uh, is a lot of myths are there, people feel there is a spinal problem, I am not going to get better at all. And spine, I have, I have a tumor or a lesion or a cancer in spine means I am almost not going to survive it's not the fact mm. they get scared we have to have very good awareness that there are a lot of tumors where we can deal with it we can do very good uh, proper treatment we need to analyze which type of tumor it is what really we can do there are a lot of advances which have happened in chemotherapy and radiotherapy where people are doing significantly better and a uh, long way to go uh, rather than pay uh, you know most important i always feel that we have to have that clear vision and awareness in public and in population that spinal cancer or spinal tumor can be curable. We can treat uh, to, to the best possible abilities of us. We have uh, advances in spinal treatment, uh, cancer treatment and uh, the, there is a lot of hopes in future. Okay, moving forward, can you please enlighten our community regarding the various treatment options related to spinal tumors? Yeah, I, as I said, uh, if, if there are very few percentage of tumor which are very rapidly progressing and the chances of them deteriorating is very high. But I would say 90% of the tumors we can give a good quality of life to the patient. There are two main types of tumor I can say that one is a benign mm -hmm. 
benign is not troubling to anyone and malignant which is rapidly progressing so if the tumors are benign we have to be pro planned properly what is whether it is causing any destruction instability and do that job and then if ne needed we can do radiotherapy or whatever uh, medical management oncologist plays a big role in spinal uh, tumor treatment and if it's a malignant then we need to assess what it is what type uh, the, this tumor is biopsy of that uh, spinal infection uh, tumor is very very important which tells us subtypes and the treatment protocols surgery is always a last option when there is a destruction there is instability spinal nerve compression and uh, weakness in the uh, limbs lower limbs or the upper limbs so what are the various surgeries done for treating uh, spinal tumors yeah i would say we do most of the surgeries uh, nowadays uh, starting from the neck to the mid back to the lower back and uh, they are called as reconstruction surgeries where we remove that portion of the tumor we reconstruct with some kind of cages mesh cages like titanium cages and screws and plates where we can give that additional stability to the patient to have activities of daily living that was quite yeah. insightful yeah. lastly would you like to give some message to our community i uh, definitely yes i would like to tell that if uh, there is a problem there is a pain in the neck or back and if you are not getting better definitely visit a specialist do not ignore your symptoms if your pain is persistent if you are get having weight loss if you have difficulty in walking you are getting tingling numbness in the hand or lower limb sciatica type of pain it can be anything chances of you having spinal cancer are very very less but do not ignore it ideal is a specialist diagnosis and treatment you will definitely have a better quality of life Thank you Thank so you. much doctor for being with Thank us that was a great much. discussion Thank, Thank you, you. Thank you Thank you